Now, this exercise uh, is not just simply trying to learn how to push the other person over. It's trying to work as a team. So when you actually neutralize, you need to learn how to neutralize correctly. And when you push, you need to feel the strength actually really coming through. And when you neutralize, it will be a lot e more effective if you go into a, like a curve, a concave. But concave is not just simply the chest. But at this point, is by tilting, you have a gentle feeling of pushing against your abdomen backwards. Mingmen, push your mingmen back. So it's like somebody's pulling this, but at the same time, you want your lower back, your coccyx, to go, or your pelvis, to go forward. And when you do this, you form a nice sort of a feeling of curvature. And hold this curvature, and when you push back, maintaining this curvature, you can feel that strength coming through from the feet to the waist, body, and arm. But it is important not at the end suddenly lose this. Because once you lose this, the force suddenly disrupted and dispersed. Okay? So when you push, you still push like a prawn. When you end, you're still ending more, like a, more or less like a prawn. You still have this tilt, pushing and tilting. Push. Okay? But you just really two people to learn to feel that sense of neutralization and then the use of your legs, force, your root, your waist, body, and your hand. Okay? So when you push, try not to stop the other person, but give them a little bit of uh, strength to hold him so that he doesn't push you too quickly and you lose balance. But at the same time, you still let him come in, like Sam. So two people practice, yeah, like this. Push, yeah, don't push, the push, yeah, don't stop him. <laughs> then you're just using your physical strength. What you want to do is to use that feeling of courage and that new yielding. So you push, you come in and yield as a curve. And then he will give me a little bit of strength so that I can test and feel the strength coming through. Yeah, then come in again. Don't stop him, come on. Yeah, I let him in and curve, press down slightly. At this point, I use a bit of strength. Feel here, feel the feet, push. He give me a little bit of strength. I can feel the push. Then he again, push. Don't stop him, let him in. Press down, curve. Then push. Push. See? Okay? So we're all going through and then swap over. Then you can feel. Hopefully, by doing this, you will learn to imply this feeling into your movement. Ban. Lan. Ah. The curvature. Chui. Feet. Here. Punch. Then same thing here. Roll. Curve. And feet. Here. Push. See? Then slowly you bring that into your practice.